Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about the full moon in Leo on the 25th of January and um, what it can bring for you in love. Now, the interesting thing is, although the full moon will be in Leo, the sun will be in Aquarius. And they are like very differently following energies. Leo likes to show off being very uh, self-confident, like socializing and uh, um, can be impulsive. And Aquarius is all about the collective and uh, the collective consciousness. So um, a very spiritual aspect of this situation is feeling the ability to feel your own truth. And this definitely brings relationships in the spotlight uh, where um, you have to find moderation, the golden middle way between being happy and socializing and uh, also finding some self-discipline and uh, not going with impulsive emotions, uh, not taking it out on others to feel guilty or fearful about something. So let's see what um, this full moon is bringing up in your love connection or in your life in this relationship you are thinking about okay we've got the fourth line prepare yourself for change and the poet which is about the truth teller so it, exactly that feeling your truth uh, what is your truth so the fourth line is about delusions needing to be uh, brought to the light and um, literally breaking open to allow the light in so the darkness can disappear. So breaking through delusions and the poet in the negative is harmful words, smart tongue and in the positive it's all about clairvoyance, being wise and timelessness. So this really is about keeping the ego in check and uh, aligning with your soul, with your intuition. That's what spirit highlights during this full moon for you, Virgo. Um, so let's see what is this fourth line about? What is this change that is going to happen in your relationship? Uh, interestingly, spirit shows today the tarot of light and dark to equivalent... Um, not fully, <laughs> uh, tarot decks in different colors. So I am going to use both of them and see what is the energy there that you or your partner or both of you need to address. So what is going to change? Where is it likely that the change is going to happen in your relationship? Of course, you could be with your partner. You could be in separation. So there are many, many different situations because it's a general reading. But let's try to narrow it down what is happening here. Six of Wands, Three of Cups and the Wheel with the Sun at the bottom. So, the sun is Leo, <laughs> interestingly. So, the moon will be in Leo this time. And what spirit is showing me that it might bring out uh, Leo's shadow a little bit to allow it to come to the surface, to the sunshine, what needs to be transformed. So, that's exactly what this card is about. Um, Six of Wands is about success. Three of Cups is um, celebration or partying and the wheel is um, a positive change. Now, it's so far um, really summing up what I was telling about the full moon in general earlier that um, it could be that um, one or both of you are partying and uh, trying to achieve something and um, 
wanting to see things positively, hoping that things are going to change in this connection. Um, so that dark energy might have started to pour out already. And um, let's see more about this. Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands at the bottom with the Hierophant. So I feel that the Hierophant coming with the Six of Wands is about um, higher learning. So achieving something on a spiritual path, uh, like uh, uh, focusing on the two of you rather than someone focusing on themselves. Um, Ten of Wands with the Three of Cups. Some burdens are becoming heavier and uh, it could be a third party situation right there. And Queen of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune um, cutting off what doesn't serve uh, you anymore. So from your perspective, it looks like, Virgo, that you are on the path of higher learning. You are throwing away, throwing off everything that doesn't serve you, everything that you are carrying as an extra weight. And... Um, you have two swords in your hands. So it's like everything needs to go that doesn't belong here. Um, like in the shops, the, the final sale, like everything must go that doesn't belong here in your happy world, in your happiness, in what you would like to create. Now, as the result of this full moon, it's very likely that your person will want to make a peace offering to you and bringing some love to you. And the word card is between this page of cups and the knight of cups. So they, I feel that they might be ready to close down a cycle and... Um, in the new one, starting with you, the page is turning into a knight. So they put some effort into themselves. Self-love could be one of them. And um, so they are changing. And that's why Spirit is giving you a heads up. Prepare yourself for change because they might want to come back to you. And um, the poet showing up as the truth teller. So I feel that they are going to get you some truth. The high priestess, the two of swords, king of swords here. And the eight of wands. So they want to reach out. They want to talk to you. They want to tell you that... Um, there are two swords almost in on all pictures here, uh, which is significant. So they want to tell you that I feel that they want to fight for you. They they don't want it to go. They want to work on this. Justice, Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. So they want to get what they feel they deserve. They want to have their happiness. They want um, to work on things with you. And that's the truth that will be revealed to you. So the change is that they have been doing some work. They are changing and they are coming back wanting uh, to restart on a higher level with you and um, they, they want to fight for this for the connection okay so let's see of course you might might not want to hear from them uh, or uh, engage with them so let's see where you are right now in this situation king of swords you have one sword 
So you really want to be strategic and the king of pentacles. And also you are wishing to find someone who is ready to commit to you. And they show up as the King of Swords. You are looking for the King of Pentacles. So your question is whether they grew enough to become that. Five of Cups. You are done with grieving this situation. You are the Empress. You have done the work. And uh, you are wise. You have the High Priestess and the Temperance with the Seven of Cups at the bottom. I feel that you may have not fully made up your mind about your person yet. But you definitely are keeping your eyes open for others. You are um, the creator of your reality. This temperance is definitely actively working on her visions. And the high priestess is, um, you are feeling out what you truly want from life. So that's very good that your person did do some work and they would like to come back and restart with you but from your side it's not like oh wow i have been waiting for this i don't look at anyone else you are everything i ever wanted and you can meet my needs no you are looking for um someone who truly can give you what you want uh, let's see more about this. Ace of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, there are lots of Aces and we've got the Ace of Swords at the bottom. So the only one missing is the Ace of Cups. Um, nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. So... I feel, Virgo, that you are on the path of creating abundance for yourself. You are really focusing on your work. Um, you start to see things more clearly, what you are passionate about, where your path is leading you towards. You are a bit worried, scared maybe of what the future holds, but your focus is not on your person. That's absolutely showing up very clearly here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's work. It's not them. It's you. And that is feeling out your truth. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Sagittarius, a Libra. What else we had here? Um, we've got another Sagittarius, Capricorn, um, Cancer again, Libra again, right, so, and Leo. So what we found out so far is that your person definitely uh, realized some things they need to have to work on and uh, they would like to fight for you. They, they found out that's their truth. And your truth is that you right now are very focused on your work, your abundance. And, uh, and that's um, where you are heading. King of, of Cups, you might have some feelings for your person, but you are not prioritizing them. Definitely not. Okay, so let's see... Where is it heading right now? You being so focused on your personal path and abundance, them uh, working on themselves and wanting to come back to you. Um, where is it leading?
this uh, full moon also offers increased emotional strength so when you combine that with your intuition then you are literally invincible you can't go wrong okay we finally got an answer here where it is heading toward we've got Wunyo and again Leo energy this is connecting with and the strength card so that strength I was just talking about that emotional strength um, will be felt and this energy is about joy comfort and pleasure so that's where you need to watch out for a little bit because it can be an impulsive behavior on your side, their side, or both of you. Um, what I am feeling is they are coming back and they, you might just... Uh, what, what Spirit is giving me a party situation where you may accidentally meet your person and they are inviting you for a drink and then it leads to um, happiness and lots of interaction with them and you may go down a path that you did not really want to so that impulsive is the key word here what do you need to know about this knight of wands seven of swords and the strength card yeah so watch out for um, deception and impulsive energy so sparks will fly that's what spirit is showing but you need to stay strong because um, I feel that you went down on this path before where you fell for the the passion the attraction and then when you wake up you realize well this is not really what I want so you can do whatever you want, Virgo. I am just telling you what Spirit is saying. Um, Self-control. Strength. Self-control. Five of Swords. Ace of Wands sideways. And the Ten of Cups. So, um, what Spirit is saying with this Five of Swords, choose your battles. And there is the Ace of Wands right there and the Ten of Cups. Is this like, is this a mirage? Is this real? What your person is offering? Is it like a, a siren call? Or is it um, truly what you want? Leo is keep popping up. Um, mm, yeah, Virgo, this is what <laughs> uh, this uh, full moon can bring to the surface. Feel your truth. That's the key and act accordingly. I am going to stop it here. And continue on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. And if you would like to check out my website, it's spiritual-wonders.com. I look forward to seeing you soon. And let's um, see what else we need to find out about this situation or your person. Take care. Bye for now.